think we're live, yes? I think so, <laughs> okay, good. Hi everyone, thanks for waiting. It's 6.35, I hope you had faith and you're hanging in there, you just keep hitting refresh and we will appear, right? Thereabouts of, thir of 6.30. <laughs> so, or 7.30, seven, seven seven yeah. that's not 6.30 at all. <laughs> You can tell where my head's at. Oh man! Oh boy! We just we just have so many things to oh, to watch out for. It's crazy! Here. It's crazy! But you we can just tell. We really have Kamwine Central. Yeah. We have now two cell phones, two laptops, one tablet, two lights, <laughs> bunch of screens. So we're just getting used to the new setup. So before we were like, Phew! and now we're like, wait, still wait, we're we, oh, we have a new set. We have a tablet. Yes, the yeah. tablet is for music, so yeah. that's new too. Yeah. But, but we're doing good. I it's think, excellent. Think, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, it's all for good things. Yeah, and we're super happy to be here. We really want to dance. <laughs> we really want to dance. So, let's get ourselves situated. All this right. is your turn now. You check in. Let me know who's here. If you can see and hear. If technical is acceptable. We have Abby and Sarah have said hi. Okay, good. And, and Abby says, we look great. We Yay. look great. All right. We have a second light, so things should be a little more clear. Yes. I can tell right now. It's yeah, a little more actually vivid details. Yeah, of us. <laughs> yeah, just because you need to see more of us. <laughs> Very important. Oh, that's so funny. All right, I'm gonna get music going. Um, we're gonna dive right in tonight. We are looking at on the diagonal. So yes, so guess what we're doing. So we're gonna warm up our upper body, legs, hips, stomach, a little bit of everything. So let's get that happening. With, um, Beats Antique is our music. While you put the music on, love. I see we have some Instagram people. Oh good. We have Rock Rose Apothecary and oh, that's neat. Liz and uh, Liz. Curia Coes. I don't know you, Liz, but hi everybody. Yes, I'm glad you're here. All right, here we go. It's going to be a great class. It's going to be great. All right, I didn't want that song. <laughs> okay. That's hilarious. There we go. That's the one I wanted. All right, big shoulder rolls. All right, let's get engage your abs. Stand up tall. Get a nice roll going. As you roll, think about lifting your chest, elongating your body. And breathe. And let's go forward. Big rolls, shoulders all the way back, up, forward, and down. And we alternate. Take it back. Big rolls. Let your torso move. All right, move it a little more. <laughs> a little bit more though. <laughs> that needs to happen. Doesn't have to look good yet. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Just move. All right, down to the hips. Nice, big, relaxed circle. Push it around. Use your hips, arms, not arms. What are these? Legs. <laughs> I'm pointing to my legs and saying arms. I was following you. Yeah, I know. You did good. It really, I was like, it doesn't, you would say the right one. That's what happened. That's okay. It comes out eventually. Shows you how much I am enjoying the dining. The movement. Oh, just movement is fabulous. So we're going to move. All right. Nice big circles. Make it comfortable, but make it on the large side. Now you'll slowly bring in your feet and start to make your circle more medium. And reverse, medium size. So your feet are more hip width apart. Hips going just around the outside of that circumference. Bring your feet closer. Now engage your front, the upper abs, lower abs. In the front, tuck up. <coughs> Pelvic tuck, lift and around. Interior hip circle. Keep circling. All right, liquid break. <laughs> All right, this is 
looking and feeling really good. Hands on your hips, reverse. Little interior hip circle inside the belly. Oh, that feels lovely. All right, now just the pelvic tuck, lower abs, tuck in, lower back, tuck up, in and back, in and back. So in in the front, and then right through your spine to the other side, these lower two erectors spinning in the lower part of your spine, contract those upward, and it lifts the tailbone. So lift the pelvis in front, lift the tailbone in back. Keep your knees relaxed. Pelvis, tailbone, pelvis, tailbone. Make sure it's a contraction in the abs and the back because when you push back, sometimes your legs go, oh, let me just, I'll just do this, right? Your legs are going for it, right? So leave your legs out of it. Use your lower back. It's really good for it. It does kind of, you can feel it, right? You feel, you feel it's kind of, eh. Not hurting it, it's good for it, but I'm getting some work. Yeah, but it's working it. Yeah. Alright, pelvic tuck. Alright, pelvic tuck in the front. Now circle around clockwise or counterclockwise. Either way. Hands on the hips. This is the Ami interior hip circle. Very uh, main, main movement of belly dance is this particular Ami circle right here. Reverse it. We always want to go both ways. All right, let's segue up into the chest. Try to take your chest, use your upper back, diaphragm, oh, <laughs> shoulder blades, and see if you can get your ribs to cooperate. Take them around in a circle. Around we go. I do have some other classes that break down the circles and the ribs and mm -hmm. all that. This one is focusing on diagonal moves, so not as much breakdown, but everything gets break, broken down eventually. Just search for it on my YouTube channel. It's all on my YouTube channel. All right, switch. On the description so you yeah. can learn everything We're really in detail. thorough about our description, mm -hmm. so read and we'll give you find them exactly what's on the video. And reverse. One more reverse. All right, let's try a nice big gushy body undulation. Chest up, Con lean back, contract, diaphragm, upper abs, middle abs, lower abs, pelvis, press forward, up, lean back. Feel that nice firm ab contraction, feel that it's holding you up, strong abs. Di uh, diaphragm, upper, middle, Lower and press forward, up, back, contraction. Beautiful contraction all the way down your stomach. And you get a lovely little undulation going here. Now, different parts of your stomach behave differently on different days, right? I'm kind of shocked. Today, everybody's cooperating. <laughs> Usually, there's sons like this one, this one, one of them. So, depending on what you've eaten, when you've eaten it, how much liquid, how much protein, how much sleep, it's all different. So just enjoy what your body gives you today. <laughs> and it will give you probably more tomorrow. And contract. All right, make it a little smaller. Just let your arms float. So I want you to pay attention how we're moving this. We're going from up to down, right? Contraction, undulation, up, working down, up, working down. So the theme of tonight is on the diagonal. So guess what we're gonna do, oh, right? Diagonal. Yeah, <laughs> you know it, baby. All right, so here's our center, right? So I want you to go off to your, this is my left, right? And hopefully it might be your left. <laughs> or your right. So how you're pushing your chest forward, you're going to go diagonal and back. It actually might be a little easier, you feel it, because you're not having to use your full stomach. You can visualize, pull back, now roll down. Push forward and roll down. Sometimes it's easier when you roll down the foot that is in front, pick up the heel and let the knee pick itself up and collapse into the hip. Diagonal. 
Push it forward, and then you're going to lean, lean onto a back foot and lift that front leg. And you're using the stomach, but you're on the side of it, right? And then same thing. Press forward on the diagonal, and then lean back and think about it coming rolling down the diagonal side part of your body. So it's really fun. It is fun. I think it's fun. All right, so that is center, side, side. Right? It's a really pretty step. Center, side, side. It's just a nice little, little thing. You can take the center out of it and just one and two and three and four and it doesn't go with this music at all, but don't worry about it. <laughs> but I would just show it sort of a just da, 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 right? It, just, it doesn't have to be anything 
perfect, but that's an easy one as well. Let me get a different song. Something a little, feel like, can you just say I swipe? Yeah. Whoops. That's at the bottom, like where it says break me, just swipe. Oh, I see. Okay. So you went backwards. I did. Yeah. Oh, I swipe to the left? Yes. Okay. Do you want the other side? Yeah. Let's go forward. Two, two more. No, uh, one more. Yeah. That one doesn't have a great rhythm, huh? Okay, so. That one's more atmospheric. Yeah, it was moody. All right, so what I was saying, diagonal. Oh, and diagonal. Bren is here. Bren? She says, glad to oh, me. Yay! Hey. So pretend there's a beat. I usually just keep the arms out and you just turn and look diagonal, look diagonal, look diagonal. It's a really nice move. So you can be doing here, 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 and then maybe a hip circle, go into something else, right? It's just a nice little quickie. Easy, easy. All right, so now let's look at an undulating figure eight. That's a classic. Really, um, whoa. It's tricky. It's tricky. <laughs> I was it's like, the, like in my head, I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, at the same time, let's yeah. do it. So undulating figure eight. So this starts with a forward figure eight. You're going to take your your hip on the right side, take it back, go up on the ball of the foot, up and over. So stay here, up and over, up and over, up and over. Notice how my foot. Leg and hip, all twist forward. Switch, left side. Up and over, up. So it's a nice big, if you can see it's a tilted circle because I'm lifting onto the ball so the hip is going high and then it's coming down low, right? So it's a tilted circle. So then we do right side, left side. Right side. So this one is a diagonal figure eight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Since we're on a diagonal, because eights typically, mm -hmm. figure eight would typically be horizontal, level with the floor, vertical, level with the wall. This one is diagonal, right? So it's not, it's, this would be a horizontal, this would be a vertical, and if you put them together, you will have the one we're doing. <laughs> So half up, half flat, diagonal figure eight. All right, so an undulating eight uses a diagonal undulation on top of it. I know it just uh, it sounds it, wonderful. It's fabulous. Explaining it is way harder than doing it. Right? <laughs> I can imagine. Way harder. I have to talk so much, and then you do it, and people, oh, okay. Oh, that's it. <laughs> all right. It's going to be different on all of you, because everybody's body behaves differently, mm -hmm. right? Yours isn't going to look like mine or like Nikki's. You're going to look like you, and that's what we want. So as you're doing your forward diagonal eight, you're going to, I'm going to let that go. We're going to lift, and we're going to do a diagonal undulation down the side of our body, and then another one down the side. So lift, diagonal down here, lift, diagonal down here. So as you do your move, the undulation comes first, then the figure eight, and then they meet in the middle. Undulate, chest up, start your eight, and now they all kind of, hello, they converge in the center. So chest lifted, hip lifted, roll down, you lift your hip over, and they meet in the middle. So let me just do it because it's a lot easier. Sometimes just imitation is the way to go. So here we go. So you can see there's an undulation happening on the top of each side of the figure eight. And sometimes you have to just look at something for a while, think about it a little bit, and then let it go. And let your body, what is in my eye? Let, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> what is in there? Ah, oh. okay, we'll see. Maybe an eyelash. Uh -oh. Sometimes you just have to let it go and just let your body be gushy, right? Just let it gush. Yeah, and I, I think for this right. one, if you, uh, for me, if I just kind of 
breathe more yeah. and, and just open and actually exactly. does it yeah. for me. Well, that's a great right? thing. You don't have to think undo, lift, yeah. just lift and breathe. breathe. Because then when you turn, you you exhale anyway. Right. <laughs> right. So there's another way to explain it, just so I can completely confuse you. Woo. Um, undulate on a diagonal. So the, the eighth that you're doing here, if you drew that, right? Draw that in your mind, how that would look. Okay, do the same thing with your ribs. Uh -huh. Do you see? Yeah. Uh huh. Make that same. So whatever you drew, right? Same shape. Mm -hmm. Make it with your ribs. All right, now put them together. That's the one that makes the most sense to me. Because you're actually doing the same thing on the top and the bottom. You're doing one eight on top of the other, but of course they have to be done staggered because you can't, right? <laughs> they can cancel. They're like sound waves. Yeah, they yeah. Waves. They can't see so your body body will counter, don't overthink it. Your body will counterbalance by itself. All right, let's get the ribs going. Ooh, good song. Here we go. Ribs. All right, now uh, release your hips and see what they do. Don't try to make them do anything. Just see if, what they do. Chances are they will counterbalance. If you, I always say, shut up and dance, right? <laughs> stop talking to yourself. Stop trying to figure it out. Just let your dancer out. Your body is a magical thing. It counterbalances itself. If you just get out of your own way. Easier said than done, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. This one feels amazing. So this is our undulating figure eight. It's a diagonal figure eight with the hips and a diagonal figure eight with the ribs together. Nice. Woo! I like that one. It takes a little bit of energy I to like do that it, that's for sure. Oh, okay. Now, we're going to look at another diagonal body weight. Oh, we have a Gina on Instagram. I'm looking. Tales of tip, sales of tipsy, and elect Ellie Couture. Oh, cool! All right. Right. And Lovely. Gina Hughes. All right, that's awesome. Thanks, guys. I'm glad you're here. I'm really glad you're here. If you happen to have questions or any issues, you can always direct message me on Instagram. Yes. Right. Or or comment. Or comment. You can yeah. comment right here. Yeah. 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 All right. So. Uh, down and down to up and we're going to add some things to it, right? So, how we start, how we started, diagonal body weight, right? Up to down, this one here. Now, we haven't done down to up yet, but let's try. So, you're going to start with your hip, you're going to push it up and forward, and then you're going to follow it, and your chest and shoulder will come forward, and it'll be the end of it. So, it's going to be from down to up, right? Down to up on a diagonal. Down to up. Now, body waves can be all over your body. We do them typically center, but we also do them side. All right, we do them side. So try not to go into that so far. It's a halfway mark between front and side. Right, so it is diagonal, right off, well, kind of off your boob. <laughs> I right, think, right? I was like, really? Yes, yes I, exactly. that's, it's, that, it's right there. So that's the way you go. <laughs> yep. All right, so down to up, up to down. And other side, down to up and up to down. Ah. All right, so we're going to go, what are we going to go? We're, uh, oh yeah, all right. Up to down, we're gonna add a shoulder roll. How we warmed up, shoulder rolls. So there's a couple ways you can do it. What looks really pretty is to roll your shoulder forward. So take both shoulders forward, back, forward, back. Now alternate, right, left, right just to get your shoulders awake. Now just take one shoulder, forward, back, forward, back. Isolate away from your hand, other side, front, back. So notice it's not, <laughs> right? It's not arm and shoulder, it's just. It's more like this. Yeah. <laughs> and man, this it's is you. hard. I know this is hard, I know it. Well, yeah, you have to think about, well for me, if I just, 
holding on to something yep. here, therefore I can't eat. Right. So pretend. Here, <laughs> come up here. So find a counter, a wall, a door, a dresser, right? And just put your hand on it, because if you touch something, you're going to be able, because your hand pushes, right? You're going to be able to do it. And then you take it off, and then of course, whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> But you have to imagine that you're just putting light pressure on something or someone, right? So give that a try. This takes a bit of practice. So forward, back, forward, back with the shoulder. So we're going to go forward, back, wait, <laughs> forward, back, up, to, down is what it was. Okay. I got it. All right. So we're adding a shoulder. Forward. So the shoulder will bleed into the chest, into the torso, right? So, so you're using the shoulder to like wake up your Yes, yes, okay. exactly. So it can your go weight. forward. Now lift, as it goes back, lift your rib, and then your stomach, and then your hip, and roll yourself down. That kind of makes sense? So instead of starting the wave with your rib, you're gonna start it with your shoulder. Forward, up, and down. So here's another little step to do. Another little part of your undulation. Try your other side. And roll, and good. So you can go left, right, roll, down. And that kind of makes sense, right? Rather than just one shoulder, <laughs> right? So roll them both. So if we're gonna roll down over here on the right, take your left shoulder forward, then your right shoulder forward. Now the right shoulder back and way down on the diagonal. I think that looks cool. All right. So one, two, three, four. We just happen to have the right beat. <laughs> Here we go. You plan one, one at a time. Two, three, four. <laughs> Other side. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. This is so fun. Cool. Again. One, two, three, four. Alright, this gives you a little ink, eh, eh, little something to do. Alright, now we're gonna add something else. <laughs> Yay! Reverse I I arm weight. Comments. I'm gonna okay. check on that. We might have questions. Reverse oh, Miriam is here for a few oh, good. minutes. Hi, Miriam. She liked the combo. Good, good, good. I'm glad. I think it's cute. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I think it's so cute. Perfect. Okay. It's good. Alright, reverse arm weight. So, a belly dance arm weight goes shoulder, elbow, wrist, knuckle, knuckle, finger, right? This is, a, this is an accelerated explanation. <laughs> shoulder, elbow, wrist, knuckle, knuckle, finger, and down. Shoulder, elbow, wrist, knuckle, knuckle, finger, and down. Other side, shoulder, elbow, wrist, knuckle, knuckle, fingers, and float, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what do you think the reverse one is? starts knuckle, knuckle, wrist, elbow, shoulder, <laughs> right? It's gonna go in. So start here, lift up, curve. So we're gonna do this little divey thing, right? We call this sometimes dolphin hands, right? Because it looks like a dolphin going through the way. So it's not exactly this, this whole thing right here, but it is the principle. So you lift up to come down. Curl your fingers, knuckle, wrist, elbow, shoulder. And then guess where you are? You're ready to roll, right? How convenient. Yeah, yeah, isn't that nice? So we're here dancing away and roll and wave down. Woohoo! That is so great. I love that. All right, so let's try arm wave, arm wave, reverse, and wave down. Oh, that's nice. I love this. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Try the other side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I should do that song again. Mm, let's do that again. I'll get it. That's a good one, huh? That was a good one indeed. Yeah. Great music. Beats Antique, they've got several albums on Amazon. You actually and get it through their website. Yeah. Oh, you, you get can, it through. You, they can, get more yeah, you can get it through uh, music.beatsantique.com. Music. Yeah. yeah. They're then, here for really good ones. They're fantastic. I, they have like everything they do is good. Yeah. So they have much. like. Just close your eyes and pick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but my favorite um, is 
blind threshold as far as dance ability. I, I yeah. like that one. And then these two, um, there's one called Collide. Oh yeah, Collide, Collide is This is awesome. tribal derivatives. Derivatives? Derivatives. Yeah. Right? They're good. All right, let's try this again. Starting over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful wave. All right, one more each side. Starting left. One, two, three, four. Reverse, shoulder, and down. All right, other side. Five, six, and we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it gives you this trail. I think it's really fun, the trail that you can follow, and it's lovely. So that's adding an arm wave to diagonal undulation up to down. Just takes a long time to say it. How do we finish our hands? Because apparently it's, gonna, um, it's going to just and then end up up. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Because I was, yeah. Like, I was so much concentrating down here that I'm not sure what happened down here. I'm yeah, like, it, just, it just hangs out. It just hangs out. All right, so now we're going to do, um, oh yeah, we're gonna transition to the other side. All right, so on one side, we're gonna go down, and on the other side, we're gonna go up. So it will be a trail from down, across, and up and over. Woo this is exciting. Oh, wow. Yeah, very exciting. But we need a transitional move to get from one side to the other. So we're gonna use two of them. We're gonna, oh, we're gonna try both. One is an Ami that we warmed up with, and one is just a hip slide to the other side. So we'll start with the slide, that's an easy one. So you're gonna do what we just did. Arm, shoulder, body wave down. Slide your hip to the other side. Body weight up, arm weight through the end of the other arm. Okay. Is that making sense? So we're kind of making a U turn here, or a U shape, all right? So we're going to go reverse arm weight, diagonal weight down, right? Diagonal weight, slide your hip. As you slide, push. So you're gonna slide and push up through the next side, shoulder, elbow, wrist, knuckle, knuckle. Yeah? Kind of. Yeah, kind of, <laughs> right? Let me get back, if I get back, can we see? Yeah, I can't tell on Instagram. I think my hand left. <laughs> All right, so let's try. So we'll go slow. All right, reverse arm wave. Shoulder, elbow, waist, all the way down, slide your, slide your hip, hang on, uh, sit, slide, up, wave through the shoulder, arm, elbow, wrist, knuckle, knuckle. So yes, you will end up with your weight over on the other side, right? You start out over here, you come down, slide over here, and go out. Right? Don't worry about it being perfect. It's just the idea. When you put this much together, it's not everything perfect. It's a blend. It's a really nice blend. So here we go. Arm wave reverse. Down we go. Sh slide. <laughs> slide. 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 And then arm wave up, shoulder, elbow, wrist, knuckle, knuckle, hand. Yay! All right. It's pretty. There's a lot happening. Here we go. Reverse, down, slide, up, and wave. All right, stay there. Go the other way. Reverse, down, slide, up, and reach out. Try for long extension. So let's try back and forth a couple times. Reverse arm wave. Slide, slide up, and over, and reverse arm wave, down the body, slide the hip, push up, and arm wave. Beautiful. It's not bad. <laughs> no. Now, obviously, this is in between other things, because <laughs> here we are. Now what, right? So you need to, you need to be going somewhere, right? There's there's more steps, more choreography to put on the end of that. This is just a little insert. All right, let's try one more time, both sides. Starting over here on my left. Okay, here we go. Got, um, 
Reverse, arm wave, diagonal up to down, slide, diagonal down to up, arm wave out, reverse arm wave, and down, slide, up, and arm wave out. Whew, that's a lot to say. <laughs> but I think we did it. Cool, yeah? Yeah, I'm cool. liking how it's feeling. Yeah, on these muscles right yeah. here. Yeah, it feels really good. Nice looking at it. Good. So now, a little more tricky um, transition. But I think it's gonna actually be easier. Well, I don't know about you, but when I got my, I mean, yeah, yeah, a little bit the sticky. slide because it comes down, slide. I don't know. It just wasn't. It works, but it was tough. So what we're gonna put in there is an omni. It's gonna make a lot more sense, right? So start on your left, reverse arm wave. Down you go. Sit. Okay, now omni right there. While you do this omni, pivot yourself. So you can be facing the other diagonal. Do your omni until you feel like waving. <laughs> if there's no time limit, you can hang out here for a while. As soon as your omni hits the point of the beginning of your wave, push your hip forward, wave up, elbow, shoulder, wrist, knuckle, knuckle, fingers. So personally, I think I'm gonna like this one better. Right? I think me too. Yeah. So you'll be on a diagonal, rolling down, diagonally turning, so pivot yourself and then rolling up the other side. So we're facing here and then here. Diagonal, diagonal, okay? Just a little bit. Do you have to pivot? Absolutely, no, you don't have to. I just thought it would be fun. <laughs> if we mm -hmm. omni and also pivot, it looks, I think that looks cool, right? I love it. It looks like you're in the test the rest of your body. <laughs> this is fun, but if you wanna just come down, stay right where you are, but my feet were here, I wanted them here, so I pivot my feet with my Ami. Okay? Let's try. Right. We also have a hi from Lily Moss, and she said she oh, took a class from you years ago. So I, that sounds hi. familiar. I know her. I know you. <laughs> yeah, she's saying hi. Oh my gosh, welcome back. <laughs> I hope you can dance with us. That's so cool. Wow. Yeah, I'm getting people coming back. I've got students all over the country. So I danced with you 20 years ago. Yes! <laughs> There's something good about this situation, right? There, is, there are some good moments. Yeah, some, there are some good moments indeed. Let's start on the right and see how that feels. So reverse arm wave, shoulder roll down. So now you're headed over to your left. So your arm is going to go to your left as you turn. And then roll up, arm wave. Yeah, I like this a lot better. And the Ami makes it much easier yeah. for me, I think. All right, here we go. Reverse, down, sit, pivot, up, and wave. Reverse, and down, sit, Ami, turn, up you go. Two more times. Yee! Last one. Unfortunately, my last one wasn't my best one. <laughs> I feel like my beginning of it was really good, the yeah. second half was not so good, yeah. and on the one before it was vice versa, so I made like one good one. <laughs> <laughs> but you get the idea. Oh, that, that took a lot of muscle. I like that. Yeah, I think it So we're getting a little more, more, um, little more advanced, right? But Ooh. just hang in there. I think that one's beautiful. It just has a really nice balance to it, going back and forth, and the Ami pivot is super good. So I hope you enjoy that one. All right, one more. Um, a little combo. Okay, so we're going to do a basic Egyptian. We're going to do a kickball change, and then we're going to do, what are we gonna do? Oh, I have, I have you know, I do these in the afternoon, and they are so good, and then, I, and then an hour goes by. Um, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Ah, I got it. It's still good. Okay, I got it. <laughs> All right, two basic Egyptians. So, step. So, basic Egyptian is a walking hip lift. You're gonna step, put your foot in front of you, and um, lift your hip, and then step and lift your hip. If you haven't had this step before, it's a basic step. It's not super easy though. It takes, it takes a little um, bit yeah, it's of not easy at figuring all. it out. Yeah. It's Even though it's called basic. Yeah, <laughs> it's all basic, but it ain't basic. <laughs> it's a more tricky one. So step, place your foot in front. Now just 
push your hips forward. If you can, use your glute muscle or you can use your quad. Push, step, place, push, step, push, step, push. Sometimes we call it a hip bump. You may have heard that because you're bumping your hip forward. All right? So we're going to do those and then we're going to do what we call a kickball change. So I'm going to do it from the side. Kick is just kick your foot. The foot that you kick, step on the ball and now change your weight back to your front foot. So kick, step on the ball, change the weight back to the front foot. Kick, ball, change. Kick, ball, change. Kick, ball, change. Kick, ball, change. The ball change is always done behind you for, for us right now. All right, other side. Kick, step on the ball, change your weight to the front foot. So just the only confusing part is there is a weight change. When I say ball, step there and then change your weight back. You don't want to go kick, touch. See, that's not it. That won't work, right? You have to put weight. So kick, ball, change. Kick, ball, change. Kick, ball, change. Two more. One and two and. So what we'll do, two basic Egyptians. One, two, three. Four, kick, ball, change. That's where we have so far. Okay? Any foot that you like, we'll be doing both. One, two, three, four, kick, ball, change. All right, again, try your other foot. One, whoops, I'll try my other foot too. One, two, three, four, kick, ball, change. I don't like that foot as much. <laughs> I see why I was on the other one. I'll try again. All right, and one, two, three, four, kick, ball, change. All right, now, after that is a diagonal body wave up. So, we're going to do, all right, so the foot that you kick, ball, change. Say it, let's just say it's our left. Kick, ball, change. Take that same left foot, step on the diagonal, and wave down to up. All right, so kick, ball change, step up. As you step, dip, plie, dip, pelvis first, roll, and do a beautiful diagonal wave so your left boob <laughs> is pointing forward, right? Right here, okay? So, step, lift, step, lift, kick, ball change, step, Diagonal body wave forward, right? So it's gonna feel like it's coming out of this side, out of the shoulder, chest, and the shoulder. We don't need to go all the way through the arm. You can just stop it at the chest right there. All right, so let's try both sides, whichever way you want. Step, lift, step, lift, kick, ball chain, step, body wave. All right, other side. <coughs> step, lift, step, lift, Kick, ball change, body width. How'd you do? <laughs> okay, good. All right, so there I'm we go. I'm great, everybody, what do you think? I think it's looking good. All right, um, all right, so let's say we're on our left. Kick, ball change, so use your left leg to kick, ball change. Kick, ball change, step left, and now you're on your left side, all right? So you've just done left. You're going to take your rib cage circle opposite to the right. As you do that, you're going to <coughs> sit back on your right foot and plie. It's supposed to be squishy. Circle, circle. <laughs> All right, so you're here. Circle, circle. So you're just taking your weight up and forward to down and center with your weight on both feet. So your weight's forward and Circle, circle. You're gonna sit into place. All right, try it on the other side. <clears throat> right foot, kick, ball change, body wave up. You're on your right side, so your ribs, ribs will go to the left. And sit. Good, 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 good. All right, and then there's a variety of ways you can finish it off. So let's try that. Okay. <coughs> Two basics, <clears throat> two basics. One, two, three, four. 
kick, ball change, body weight, up, rib cage, rib cage. Woo, good. All right. Other side. One, two, three, four, kick, ball change, diagonal, up, circle, circle. I like the hands on the hip to circle down. So, <clears throat> what I had was circle, circle, and then Ami, um, so turn around. It's just a suggestion. There's all kinds of things you can do. So we can sit here. Let's just cross our left foot over. Circle, circle. And you don't have to come back to the front, but, <clears throat> but you're here in the front, so I'm coming back. <laughs> you can easily turn around and go the other way. Okay? All right. Step, lift, step, lift, kick, ball change, diagonal, forward, reverse. Rib on the circle, circle. Ooh, pretty. Mm -hmm. It should feel squishy. It should feel really nice. Other side. I think step, we got it. lift, step, lift, kick, ball change, diagonal, circle, circle, hip, hip. I think it looks pretty to go rib and hip yeah. and turn around. If you want to, for yourself, you sink with your ribs and then just pivot a little bit with your hips. And you don't have to step. Wherever you end up, just go there. Because you know when you're just dancing and playing around, you don't need to face front. So just, I cover me, I would just circle and pivot. And then wherever I ended up is where I would be next. Right? That's where I would go. But I'm going to pick up my foot and turn around so I can come back to the front. All right? A couple more times. Here we go. Whichever side we want. Ready? Step. Lift, step, lift, kick, ball, change, body weight, circle, circle, around, around. That feels lovely. Oh, so, nicely to yeah. music too. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Give your rib cage circle a lot of attitude, <laughs> right? Because it's a simple move. Exactly. <laughs> the eyebrow goes up. <laughs> Give it attitude as you circle, you sit into it, and it should feel really good. Because it's a very simple move. All right, let's try the other side. I forgot what side I did, but I'll just start. Here we go. Step, lift, step, lift, kick, ball, change, body weight, circle, 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 circle. There we are. Yay! That was fun. Really good. All right, one more time each side and I'll turn you loose. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Last one. This is a great song. <laughs> seven, eight. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What'd you think of that? <laughs> that felt Woo. great. Woo. That felt really great. Did you say you had a second, a second way to end that? Oh, I was just talking about. Um, You can circle and then you can just go oh, wherever. I see, I see. You don't have to Doesn't keep have to coming back to front. Or the other the other option would be when you're here and you go to sit right there, you don't have to on me at all, just take the front foot and cross over and, and then go somewhere else. Right? Mm -hmm. I kind of thought it was cool to do a rib and then hip. I think it looked good. Yeah. But it's not necessary. There's all kinds of things you could do. So I like the ribs and the hips. Yeah, I like the ribs and the hips. So Okay, <laughs> I worked. Man, Muscles are ready. I know, make sure you stretch your back forward. We've done a lot of work with yeah, our little yeah. spines here. They're gonna be talking to you in the morning. So do some nice forward folds, some nice stretches that, to undo your the damage that I've done. <laughs> oh, it was great fun though. Thank you so much for joining me. It was lovely having you. I love this class. Diagonal is a really fun, concept because yeah. most people go sideways and forward but diagonal is more 
interesting, I think. Yeah. So especially the under lady eight, right. that one is super cool. So we will sign off and um, just want to remind you, check out YouTube on my channel. If you haven't already, there's a ton of videos. So there's over 70, I think maybe 80 right now. Yeah. Classes. Nice. We've been doing this since, um, since the lockdown. So since March. March. Yeah. Like like March of last 20, year. March 25th or March. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's so there's a lot. So there's lots for you to choose from. There's about almost a dozen on Instagram, mm -hmm. um, IGTV. We're, we're making up for it. Right. And um, I just posted on Facebook, my beginning belly dance series Yay. is starting tomorrow. So I'll be the 11th, um, the 18th and 25th of February. And that's through Eventbrite on Zoom. So you're welcome to um, check that out. And that's a more of a semi-private where I can actually see you and talk to you. Nice. <laughs> and, and make corrections. What is the time on that? Uh, 4.10. Starts at 4.10 um, in the afternoon, Pacific time. So. Alrighty. And uh, what else? Like, yeah. subscribe, oh, yeah. and comment, and share everyone. Yeah, yeah. do and all that. Thing, if yeah. you would. <laughs> if you would, please. Thank you. Oh, I, right. think, um, I have something to add. These classes are free, but if there is something that you would like to um, donate or contribute, you can um, do that through Venmo, and Malia's info is on her page somewhere. Yes, so yes. You can do that if you want, if you are that able to. That would be lovely. <laughs> Venmo, PayPal, it's all good, and I, it's much appreciated. Mm. I'm gonna go this way so I can shut everything down behind the scenes at Kwan yep. Central. All, Bye, everybody. all the buttons and knobs that we have now, it's getting quite complicated. So thanks again for joining us. We will see you in a few days on Saturday. We are at uh, six o'clock on Saturday. So I will see you then and have a great evening.